welcome to Naresh Hai Technologies, this is Ram Chandar. So, up to now we did talk about lot of things related to primitive variables as well as what reference variables. Especially in this video, we are going to be talking about a very important uh, syntax certification level that is can we create both the static and non-static object for a class at a time nothing but within the same class. So, our concept is this one can we create both the static and non-static objects at a time within the class. If you are able to create then internally what happen are we getting proper output or not. So, already I designed this program observe here in this student class I am taking one non-static variable and uh, one object creation as a static and there one is what here one more object creation as a non-static and after that what we have main method we have. Now, observe here let me compile this program I am saving this program with the help of student. So, java say student dot java and uh, successfully compile after that I am going to be executing then we are facing one uh, stack forward flow error. Sir, so, what happened where exactly the problem in this uh, program the problem in this uh, program very simple guys, but concentration is very mandatory observe. So, whenever dot class file is loading from secondary memory to primary memory first especially for static data wise we have three steps first static loading phase static initialization phase after successfully completion of the loading phase and initialization phase control goes to where your main method. So, first step is static loading phase in the static loading phase compile JVM is going to be check whether the data is static or not. So, here the data is what here non-static. So, skip here the data is what here static. So, static now so simply JVM will providing the memory for OBJ this is what here OBJ obj and default value is what here null default value is null good now observe here after that what is this point non static this point is also skipped what is this main method heading will be read placed into the memory once successfully execution of the non static loading phase then control goes to where here static initialization phase what happen in the initialization phase default values will be replaced with what uh, original values. Now, in this particular time this statement is going to be executed this statement is going to be executed first non-static variable skip and in the static initialization phase object is created. Now, please observe everybody under the static initialization phase object is created object is created whenever object is creating automatically non-static loading phase is going to be started in the non-static loading phase what happen here non-static variables will getting the memory and fill it with what here default values. So, here SID is one non-static variable fill it with what here default values. Now, one more uh, non-static reference variable is there. What is the non-static reference variable? OBJ1. So, this is also will getting what here default value like null itself like uh, null. Now, in the non-static loading phase OBJ1 will getting the null. Now, now observe here in the non-static initialization phase. So, due to the lack of space I am going to be right here non-static initialization phase in the non-static initialization phase what happened default value will be replaced with uh, original value. So, from this phase what happened controller coming to here this 0 will be replaced with what this 0 will be replaced with uh, triple 1 this 0 will be replaced with uh, triple 1. Now, observe here after that uh, static variable we have skip after that what we have non-static variable. So, in the non-static loadi loading phase obj1 will getting the default memory like a null. Now, this will be replaced with what new student new student means what happened jvm will creating jvm will creating one new object object creation. So, whenever we creating an object definitely what happened again non-static loading phase is going to be happen SID SID default value like 0, 
SID default value like 0 and after that again OBJ1 default value again what year? Null. Already we have one statement as many times we creating an object those many times non-static data is going to be loading and initialized. This step is for OBJ new student in this process this will be executing. So, whenever control is coming to the new student this process is going to be happen. Now, observe here. Here SID 0 in the loading phase and in the uh, for OBJ1 we will get what here null. So, after completion of the successfully completion of the non-static loading phase again we have non-static initialization phase. What happen in the non-static initialization phase? Non-static variables default value will be replaced with original values. So, what is the original value here? Triple 1. After that again non-static variable we have new student then what happened new student means what again object creation. So, under the non-static first under the static initialization phase object is created. In the object creation phases loading phase not a problem but in the initialization phase again we have a syntax what is that object creation. Under the object creation in the non-static loading phase not a problem again in the non-static initialization phase what happen here one more object creation is going to be happen. So, this process is going to be what here infinity time that is why we will face one error like a stack overflow error. So, here my conclusion here is whenever we want to create an object for a particular class. So, here particular class is nothing but what here student do not try to create do not try to create both the static reference variable non-static reference variable at a class level. Now, in the next video I am going to be show you like if you am writing the static reference variable at class level and student obj1 equal to new student of new student in the mean method what type of output we are going to be see that we will see in the next video. I hope you enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe to channel. Thank you.